So each time you finish a project and then you want to revisit the project only to realize that one or two footage or audio file is missing and then you have to go start downloading them all over again. Well, I'm going to show you an easy way to save your project so that anytime you want to revisit it or open it from a different computer, you have all your media files in one place. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start by opening DaVinci, obviously, and then, um, so let's say this is our edit. We're going to open this um, project. So as you can see, if I scrub through, I've got a couple of um, video files here. So if you have this project which you've been working with and you are done editing, you have, you've locked your edit and you're done with it. So one of the easiest thing which you can do is instead of just saving it as a project, you can save it as an archive folder and what an archive folder means is that every media file that you used davinci is going to put everything into one folder and save everything in one place for you so that you can move it around easily you can reopen it from a different computer or from the same computer and all your files are right there in one place so how do you do this i don't have any audio file here so I think I would want to import um, one or two audio files, you know. So let me bring this in and I click open. Where are my audio files? Yeah, so I bring them here. All right. So as you can see, I've got two audio files here. I'm not going to play them, but obviously you can see. Yeah, it's an audio file. So what you do here is come to the house icon here. This is my edit test footage. So I'm going to right click and go to the option export project archive. Now, when I come to export project archive, I'm going to give my folder a name. So it says test folder. So I name it test folder save and you decide where you want it to save. Um, on your computer and you click on save and then it brings this option for you media file save the media files render catch proxy media so if you're working with proxy you can also click it or not but i don't save with proxy one to save space and if i want to bring back my proxy it's very easy to generate proxy from davinci so media files and render catch so it's optional I can decide just to save the media files in order to make the file not um, bulky. So it all depends on you. But let's say I just want to save my media file, right? So once I do that, I click OK. And once you do that, DaVinci is going to generate an archive folder for you. As you can see, it is done. And then I click close. I close it and I'm done. And then when I go to where I save my thing, you can see on my desktop here, test footage save dra which is davinci resolve archive once i open it you can see here davinci creates a folder right inside that folder media files when i click it you see it puts all the footage there in one folder and it puts the music files in one folder i'm gonna go and delete the original folder where i had uh, my footage and music file from you know i'm gonna delete it from my um, computer I think it was this everything was in here footage as you can see so I'm gonna delete this folder from my computer and then the music I took it from here I'm gonna delete it also so what this means is that I don't have that footage on my computer anymore but because DaVinci I already saved it as an archive file I'm gonna go to from the file which I saved this is what DaVinci saved for me test footage test footage save so I'm going to click on this project. When I click it, DaVinci is going to open its thing and it brings me here. It wants me to save copy of project and I say OK. So once I do that, you can see. So this is what I see. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. What you just need to do here is come to this icon here, this link button here. Once you click it, it brings you this option to locate it and then you click on locate and you go to that folder davinci saved for you on your desktop which is this once i click it i click open and davinci locates it for me now it needs the music i go to locate the same place music is in the music folder and i click on open and there you go davinci restores everything for me so 
with this if i need to go edit somewhere else on a different computer i don't need to stress myself looking for the footages i used all i need to do is to copy out this folder go to another pc once i click on it it's going to open and have everything in one place thank you very much for watching this tutorial please make sure you click the subscribe button there and the notification bell thank you very much